Hello and welcome to another tutorial by LearnPythonTutorial.com. Today we're going to talk about why there's no type decoration in Python. The main reason for no type decoration is because all the information is stored in an object. And we talked about yesterday what an object is. It's just a block of memory. Um, variables have absolutely no information stored with them. They're just a reference or a pointer to a block of memory, which is the object. So why why would Python do this is the main question in this tutorial. The main reason why Python does this is to free up memory. If we had to give every variable a type, a value, we would actually use more space. Think of it this way. If we had a value of 9 and we gave every va value a um, every variable the same value then we're just clogging up memory because each variable would be different but the values would be the same so let's look at it this way let's create a couple of var variables and they're all gonna have the same value a equals 9 B equals 9 C equals 9 so what's going on here let's look at it this way a is the name tag or the variable. It's just a tag. There's no information stored there. So this A points to a value of 9. So what happens here is it's just pointing to this 9. And then we go down to B, which is another variable, but that's still pointing to this 9, to this integer right here, that value, which is an object which just has one little block of memory being used and then C is also pointing to 9 so if we gave type declaration to each variable we would have to have three separate spaces of memory in this case we only have one space of memory because each variable is pointing to 9 so that being said using our storing type information in the object versus in the variable Python was able to free up more memory to make our programs run faster and that in this day and age everybody wants everything to work fast so in this case Python is working in our advantage and how it's set up so I hope you guys understand why a very why variables do not have type information and why it doesn't store any information if you can get this concept that a points to this nine B points to the same 9, and C points to the same 9, you'll understand it. Um, also, I want to show you a quick little thing called type. How do we figure out what the type is from the object? How do we get the type from the object? So, we got A there, but say we have this long script, our program, and we forget what A is, or what we made A. We can do this really easy by using a built-in function called type. So, we just simply type 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 <laughs> give it a parentheses put the a in there and then another parentheses and hit return and it says the class is an integer so that's an integer let's make another variable called d make it equal to a string hit return and let's use type there and we put d in there hit return it's a string how about a list equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we call type on E. It's going to return the list. We can do this with every type of data form or data type um, information like strings, lists, dictionaries, tuples. We can do it for floats, integers. So we can find out what class is stored in the object. Pretty simple. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at um, referencing, how the reference works. Um, we kind of went over that today, where A reference 9, B reference 9, C reference 9. We're going to look at that and um, take a closer look at that. And we'll also see how we can find out what the reference is. So uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial, and uh, make sure you subscribe. If you've got any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at LearnPythonTutorial.com, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.